Hey, we're back for our second installment of cooking. Uh, <laughs> so tonight we're gonna be making a chili fish uh, and tahini sauce. It looks like it's like a baked fish situation, so we'll see, um, with halibut. I've never cooked halibut before. The only fish that I've ever forayed into was salmon, but Joe hates salmon, so I have to learn how to do white fish. Hopefully I don't mess it up. And then we will also be pairing that with this like cauliflower salad, both of which are Otto Lange recipes from his book, Simple. So we'll see just how simple it is. Um, Bruin already ate. She's quite pleased. <laughs> uh, I'm just running to the grocery store and then we'll be back. All right, so we're back. Uh, Joe's not home yet. Um, so I'm gonna start because I don't need to wait for him. Uh, cheers. Tonight I'm drinking a giant whoop, hard kombucha. It's a nice way to kind of like switch it up and not drink wine all the time, you know? So uh, here is my loot and I'm gonna get everything out and ready to go and prep it and then start cooking. Alrighty, so to begin, we're going to be taking this cauliflower, pomegranate, and pistachio salad from Otto Lange Simple. Love Otto Lange, that reminds me, I need to get our pomegranate seeds, which I totally forgot to snag. Uh, where did I put them? Here they go. We used these the other night for this rice dish, so I'm glad I get to reuse them. So as part of this recipe, and it says to preheat the oven to 425, so I'm currently in that process, um, we're going to need a extra large cauliflower, uh, an onion, parsley, um, pomegranate seeds, pistachios. It looks like there's nothing in there, but I promise you there is. Some tarragon and some mint. And then let's see if there's anything else. Oh yes, ground cumin. So here's our spice rack. So I'm just gonna take that, put it here. And lemon juice. So let's go back into the fridge. This is from Costco. Um, I We drink a lot of lemon juice in our house because Joe likes to put it in his water. So those are all of the ingredients. Oh, and olive oil, but of course we have that. That's everything for this, so I'm gonna start assembling. All right, so it asked to take a third of the cauliflower and to coarsely grate it. I don't have a grater, so I used one of these guys. Um, so I hope it's not too fine. If it ends up being too fine, then I'm gonna blame it on that. So, all right, the rest of that cauliflower, I, I put um, the leaves and I created florets out of the rest of it. And then I put it in a bowl with two tablespoons of olive oil and some salt and mixed it all up. And now this is gonna go into the oven. Alrighty, so Bruin is doing cleanup from all of the grated cauliflower. I think there's actually some on her. And then these guys are now in the oven roasting for 20 minutes. And now I'm going to combine all the other ingredients. Doesn't that look just incredible? So everything that was left in the recipe is now in this bowl. And then once the cauliflower comes out of the oven in 12 minutes, it's gonna go in there too. And I'm gonna stick the shredded cauliflower in. So that's all good to go. And all that's left is the roasted cauliflower. Stay tuned. All right, so now we're moving on to the chili fish with tahini. Doesn't that look bomb? All right, inside, we are going to have tomato paste, paprika, which I'm substituting for the ancho chili, because it says you can do paprika instead. Sugar plum grape tomatoes, halibut, two red chilies, and caraway seed. I think that's everything. Let me double check. Oh, granulated sugar and cilantro leaves, and then the tahini sauce, which I had the ingredients for all that, so I'm gonna grab those. Okay, so I have gently seasoned my fish with salt. Look at how beautiful this halibut is. Never made it before, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I think it'll be okay. So that's just gonna sit there until it's ready to cook. The 
cauliflower is out of the oven. So now I have my oil heating up for our fish dish. I've also prepped the tomatoes. These red peppers, I think I got serranos. They're super spicy. They like actually hurt my hands, so be careful. Um, you might want to make sure to wash your hands after touching them. Don't touch your eyes. <laughs> I've done that before. And then I have three cloves of garlic ready to go. All right, I have these red chilies in the pan. They are frying up. And you're supposed to do this for two minutes, stirring frequently. Doing that. All right, uh, fast forwarding a bit because everything happened very quickly. So I added, let's see, what was the order of events? So I first added garlic, caraway seeds, and the paprika, and I let that fry for a minute. And then I added tomatoes, tomato paste, sugar, and a half teaspoon of salt. And so now that it's boiling, and honestly it did not take long to boil, um, it was pretty quick. I reduced the heat and I'm gonna let it simmer for at least 15 minutes and let this become like a sauce. All right, so still letting this simmer. In the meantime, I went ahead and added all of the cauliflower to the mix. And so now the salad is done. It looks beautiful. I hope that the grated cauliflower isn't too fine, but honestly, it looks really good. I'm not too concerned. So while we're waiting, I went ahead and made the tahini sauce. I like it a bit thicker. Um, that's just me, so I added a bit more than what the recipe calls for. It could also just be that like the type of tahini I get at Trader Joe's just isn't the real deal, and so that's why it requires a bit more, but yeah. So it's just tahini, lemon juice, water, and a bit of salt. Okay, so full disclosure, I tasted the sauce, and I, I knew that I didn't use as many grape tomatoes as the recipe called for, but I did use the same amount of chili. <laughs> and it was way too spicy for my mouth. So I actually cheated and I added, I had this crushed tomato can, um, also Sento's amazing. So I just added a bit of that. I'm gonna bring it up to get hot again. And I'm hoping that by just kind of diluting that chili, it'll be a bit more edible because it's hot. All right, the fish went in. And they were in there for 10 minutes, covered, and it looks pretty cooked to me, so I think I'm gonna plate it. And this is it. Boom. Gonna eat it with this yummy salad. 10 out of 10, would <laughs> recommend. <laughs> Dig in. <laughs> Bo, do you approve? Definitely some, maybe. Bruin does.